Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle Card Reading for week commencing the 25th of June 2018. Thank you so much for joining me here this week for our Angel Card Reading. So we're going to pull three cards and these three cards will symbolise the beginning, middle and the end of the week and what general energies are affecting our uh, lives. This is a general reading and um, we've said it in a couple of videos now but it's important that we we uh, we take these cards and, and we apply them to, to, to the specific situations in our own lives because it is going to be different um, for each of us. There may be these common themes, but the specific situation will be different for each of us. So if you would like to explore that further, um, then I'll leave all the details in the description box down below this video on how you can go about ordering your own personal reading. So let's get into our reading now. So we've got our three cards pulled. These are the energy oracle cards that we're using this week. So the first card that comes up for us is number 21. And the word on this card is strategy. We have an image of this, um, this pyrus, there's coins and there's a quill. At the beginning of any new project or anything new that we're starting on, or any changes that we want to make in our lives, it's important that we try and approach that from a, a place of strategy so that we have a plan. It's not about, uh, some people will get the word strategy and manipulation um, confused, but manipulation in, in and of itself isn't a bad word either, unless we're using it um, to harm others, in which case that would be. Uh, an incorrect way to use that. A strategy is having a clear vision of where we're going and then having steps to get there. So one way that we can we can strategize a new project is to start, or what I like to do, start at the end result and then work backwards. So we're putting in place these stepping stones. When we do that, we allow ourselves to have a plan. And so things are less likely to feel overwhelmed or complicated because we have that plan in place. So the start of this week, we may be doing some paperwork, have a mind map of some sort, but just taking some time off to strategize. As we move into the middle of this week, we have the card Journey. And there's an image here of a woman on a bridge and she has these bags packed and a lantern in her hand. This could be a physical journey, perhaps we're going on a vacation, or we're called to go on some sort of retreat. But as well as a physical journey, it could be something that we're going through ourselves. Maybe our life's taking a new direction, a new relationship, a house move. Just a journey within our emotional selves. Perhaps we feel as though we're maturing in some way. And this doesn't matter what age we're at or what point on our journey that we're at. We're all on a journey. And really the middle of this week is an indication that things are shifting and we're following that path. The bridge looks stable. She's traveling in the middle of the night. So it may feel as though the path is a little bit dark ahead. Not in a scary way, but just maybe feeling a little uncertain. But she has this lantern. And I am getting the feeling that this lantern is knowledge if we combine that with the strategy card. So we're moving forward. And then as we move to the end of the week, wow, well, we couldn't really ask for a better card. It's card number one and it's the sun. <coughs> Excuse me. The sun is this card of complete joy. There's a book in this picture, which I feel represents knowledge and learning and wisdom. We have these uh, fish, which, um, if you're used to or you've ever heard of Lenormand cards, uh, which is another divination tool, the fish is very indicative of financial abundance. We have this baby, so new beginnings. It could be news of a birth or a pregnancy, but it could be this new life, this fresh start. We have these birds flying free from this cage, this freedom. There's a trumpet, so we may get called to do something, or perhaps some music in our lives. Uh, has some effect on us, meditation. And we also have these paintbrushes in this image. 
So it's about being artistic and creative. So this sun card represents everything in our lives, all the, the things in our lives that bring us happiness and that bring us joy. And this is what's with us at the end of this week. So I presume some of us are going to get some quite good news. Um, maybe our strategy works quicker than we'd expected. So just to recap, we're strategizing, we're making plans, doing some paperwork and taking some action steps. But we're on a journey. We're on a journey in, in our careers, in our in our social lives, our, our romantic relationships, our family relationships, our fitness journey, uh, our health journey in general. And the journey of our lives is changing in some way. But there is this sun card. So if there is any clouds of uncertainty, any linger and pain there, we have this jolly bright card underpinning all of that, which could see us getting some good news. So I hope that you have enjoyed the reading this week. Thank you so much for joining me. It means the absolute world to me that you tune in. And if you felt inclined to like, share or subscribe to this channel, I'd be absolutely over the moon. Until we speak again next week, take care. Lots of love and many blessings, Alyssa.